Westalis, Austonia, Pinatica, a world at peace. But that all changed when the Peanut Nation was attacked. Only the Peanutatar, master of nothing, could bring peace to the three nations. But when the world needed her most, she vanished. Six years have passed, and with tensions at an all-time high, Westalis sends their best spy, Agent Otaku, on a hopeless mission to start a family deep within Austonia. The Pinatatar, or Anya for short, uses her psychic powers to impress Lloyd by cheating at a crossword. Or at least tried to. And just like that, the Forger family was forged. Don't we all? But Lloyd is not the only one undercover. Anya, too, must keep her true identity as the last remaining Pinadian and the powers that come along with it a secret. Anya, peanuts are good. Um, hiding in plain sight. Smart thinking. The first step of the mission is to get Anya into the same school as the target's son. <laughs> But in order to do that, she's going to have to pass the entrance exam. Nobody does. But if you don't, you'll end up like him. What? And you don't want that, do ya, Anya? Anya? She's playing Among Us again, isn't she? So cool! Snooping through Agent Otaku's stuff, Anya stumbles on Lloyd's 17 terabyte homework folder, scarring her worse than the war scarred him. The day of the entrance exam arrives, and Bakanya is completely stumped by the first question. But luckily, so is everyone else. My name? But we never studied for this. Uh, how am I supposed to know this? I didn't even bring a pen! So thanks to societal brain rot, Anya passed, and so did Lloyd. Six weeks went by until they were awoken by a disturbing letter that literally just read, Widows and divorcees are not welcome at Eden Academy. So Lloyd has to move on to step two of the mission, finding a girlfriend. And if he's anything to go by, that's not gonna happen. Hey! Uh, um, she's beautiful. But for some reason, Anya doesn't approve. And as is tradition, children have final say over who gets to be their mother. So Special Agent Frank, sorry, Frank E, provides Lloyd with a list of potential waifus. But how is he possibly supposed to make a decision? Well, Anya is dressed like this. So they make a quick trip to Uniqlo, and Anya picks out a cute shirt and a new mother. Your Briar, a 27-year-old salary woman who is so sussily single that everyone assumes she's either a weeb or an assassin. And well, they're not wrong. <laughs> On either accounts. But before Lloyd can ask to use her, she asks to use him to convince her friends and family that she's not some single assassin. Which, again. <laughs> But unfortunately, on the night of Yor's work party, Lloyd gets in a terrible accident. But somehow still manages to make it just in time for cake. Who the f are you? Later that night, under the light of the full moon and a romantically timed flashbang, the Forger family grew a little bit larger. Excited to finally have a mother, Anya takes Yor on the grand tour of her new home. Now Lloyd's got a nice apartment, an adorable mind-reading daughter, and a beautiful assassin wife. What more could a guy want? Except maybe two beautiful assassin wives? With the parent-teacher interview fast approaching, the trio need to get immersed in the local high culture and learn the true meaning of Eleganto. And with that, they're ready for the interview. The first test is one of taste. To start their school laifu, they must choose the right waifu. Eleganto. The second trial is much more vile. It is his duty to prevent a death. Oh, so noodly. And for the finale, the forgers must wrap.
怖くない。As the animals return home, the real excitement can begin. The three headmasters begin grilling the forgers on their family values. Wow. What a piece of. I mean, we were all thinking it, but to actually come out and ask? Come on, the. Well, that went well. Anya's score landed her first on the waiting list. So, if one of the other applicants were to say, drop out, what a coincidence! A spot just opened up! <laughs> to celebrate, they spend tens of millions of taxpayer dollars just to make one little peanut girl happy. Aww. We're gonna need more men.、Uh, more explosions! Spend more money! Stat! <laughs> With the country now deeply in debt, Lloyd goes back to focusing on his mission and. Um. <clears throat> and goes to get briefed on the next phase. Step three Become an Imperial Scholar by earning eight Golden Peanut Awards for exceptional grades or behavior. So naturally, Lloyd calls it quits. But he's contractually obligated to fill another six episodes, so might as well enjoy himself. The seamstress warns Anya that as a student of Eden Academy, she is now a target for cyberbullying, kidnapping, shark attacks, that sort of thing. So Anya does what Anya does best hiding in plain sight. And so the students are sorted into their classes. And luckily, Anya and the son of Lloyd's target, Damien, are together. Anya may not be smart, or athletic, or artistic, or elegant, or. <clears throat> but if there's one thing she can do, it's make friends. <gasps> Seven more of those, and she's expelled. Six more. Five more. Four. Three. Anya, stop! To salvage what little hope for the mission is left, Lloyd uses subliminal messaging to get Anya to subscribe to Kinda Neat. Hmm, that's weird. Link to Discord in the description? What could he mean by that? But reading isn't one of Anya's strong suits. Though, I guess. Neither is anything else. So she misread subscribe as sorry and thinks she should apologize to Damien for sucker punching him six times in a row. And seeing Anya pour her heart out forces Damien to come to terms with his true feelings. Meanwhile, Yor shares lore from before the war. The child her mother bore from being such a productive member of society. Speaking of yours, brother, he's since grown up and passed the spy hunter exam, landing him a spot on the secret police. Get some help. Lloyd quickly realizes Yuri's true identity, but decides to keep him around as another useful idiot. <laughs> <laughs> But in true anime fashion, Yuri won't believe that their relationship is true until he sees them do the most intimate thing imaginable. <laughs> and that's why you never come between a woman and her dental health. <laughs> The most important day of any Eden Academy student's life is, of course, the Dodgeball Tournament. And this year, it's rumored whoever wins MVP will be granted one golden peanut. So Anya must train like she's never trained before, because she hasn't. But train all you want. You'll never stand a chance against. But with the power of friendship on their side, this could be one of the most intense anime showdowns of our generation. A battle that could last dozens of episodes. Or maybe not. 
補正よし。ヒットそれはそれでなんかムカつくデミアンズアーク is finally completed as he sacrifices himself for Anya ヒット Given a second chance, Anya refuses to let his death go to waste Game set. But it turns out that a silly game of dodgeball just isn't enough to earn a golden peanut. And true elegance was the friends you made along the way. Not only did Anya fail to make any friends, sorry, Becky, nobody cares, but she also failed all of her tests. It turns out reading people's minds isn't very useful if they're also complete morons. So instead, they focus on other ways to earn golden peanuts, like violin. Tennis, gymnastics, and art. But Lloyd has such unbelievably high expectations of a six year old that even volunteer surgeon won't satisfy him. Mid operation, Anya's peanut senses tingle and she hears a young boy drowning in the pool. But as she heroically soars through the air, it occurs to her that she also doesn't know how to swim. While Anya recovers, the Make a Nut Foundation grants her an honorary golden peanut for her attempt at saving that poor boy's life. But donning that beautiful metallic legume has its pros and cons. On the one hand, everyone hates her even more now, but on the other, she gets to ask for a reward. Peanuts, each n i m b u n But she selflessly puts the greater good above her own needs and instead asks for a dog. Because as Tinder has shown us, a cute dog can easily make up for a complete lack of personality. Oh, God, no. I, I was not prepared for the animal cruelty arc. Let's skip ahead. Ah, too far. We need something a little less topical. Oh, the working yourself to death arc. This'll do. After hundreds of Westala spies were tragically killed in the peanut incident, the remaining operatives have to pick up the slack, including Agent Otaku, who is so overloaded he begins to neglect his role as a fake father and hoax husband to the forgers. After overhearing his neighbors gossiping, he decides to do what any good anime father should and take his special ladies to the aquarium. But the poor guy can't even get himself a coffee to juice without being assigned another coffee to juice. No, a coffee to juice. Another coffee to juice. He needs to figure out which penguin is an undercover agent. <laughs> is Anya trying to read the penguins' minds? There's no way that we talk about like the political and economic state of the world right now. I'm going to be greater than any of them. The next Hokage. That must be him! Now all you have to do is. Yeah, I don't want to see that. I'm not even gonna ask. Despite the ooting to the aquarium, his neighbors still think he's cheating on Yor. But, like, with who? Unless. So, to prove that he actually does spend quality time with his family, he spends the remainder of the day playing gotcha games alone. <laughs> Wrist exhausted from clawing, Lloyd is about ready to hang up his spy boots for good, but seeing Anya's smile reminds him of why he became a spy in the first place to create a world where no child ever needs to cry. A few minutes later. <laughs> Click this playlist to see more of my recaps, and if you love talking anime, there's a link to my Discord in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.